Have you ever wondered how much food and bedding it takes for a whole year for a pound of worms? I did. And this experiment that I am doing right now is I am going to weigh all of the food and bedding that I am giving these one pounds of worms over the course of the next year or until they are finished making their castings. And we're gonna see how much one pound of worms needs to eat and have bedding and how many pounds or kilograms of castings and worms we'll end up with at the end. So right now we have 24.4 pounds or 10.8 kilograms. And last time that we looked in on these guys, the end weight was 27 pounds. So it looks like they've lost quite a bit of weight, probably moisture. It's only 61 degrees in the basement here. And so these guys have uh, probably dried out some. Now, I think I fed on both sides. And one of the things that I fed was avocado. And it looks like they've eaten this avocado, but of course they'll be working on that shell for quite a few months. Now I will put the graph below as to uh, what we have put in there as far as food. Uh, I've been keeping an Excel spreadsheet of the whole thing so that we can find out, you know, what we're feeding month over month and um, what are we getting. Now we're looking at this right now and it looks like they're already making some pretty good castings. And they're also breeding and there's a cute little cocoon there. So looking over here, I'm not seeing any of the food. Well, okay, take that back. There is a banana peel and the shell of the avocado that's that's not going to sustain them i don't think we added any bedding last time so it looks like we might need a little bit of bedding so i kind of have hypothesized that it is going to take um, 10 times the weight i expect me personally i expect that you know if i'm going to get 10 pounds of castings it'll probably take 100 pounds of food and bedding to get there but uh, put your thoughts below. What do you think? How much food am I going to need and bedding am I going to need? Now I'm going to dry out the castings and find out what percentage of moisture they are too. So that information will also be available. But these worms look nice and healthy and there's no reason they shouldn't. Um, they have been nicely fed. I think they got five pounds of food uh, last time, including um, a whole avocado flesh and all and you can see how they are getting into it and uh, I'm seeing a little bit of flies so I'm gonna have to manage that the tomato skins so if you ever thought that tomatoes were a forbidden food no they're not look at that the, the little worms are right in there and have got kind of a worm ball I'm not sure I think this is a lemon or a lime or something so it looks like they've got the skins, but these things take months and months and months to eat. Um, I'm not sure what a tomato skin is made out of, cellulose or something maybe, but it is definitely a slow food. And there's a tiny little wisp, isn't he cute? There we go, kind of just kind of trying to distribute that out so that it can get worked on from all sides here. Um, here's the other half of that avocado. Looks like they're giving it a try little bit of a worm ball for us that was nice good worms so as I expected that avocado is going to be a very slow food um, unfortunately it never did ripen after a month on the countertop so I had to call it and uh, the worms were the benefactors there all right so let me now that we've uh, rummaged through here and had a look to see what they're doing let's go get them some bedding so after I fluffed it up and distributed it on the scale, it says 23.8. We haven't added anything. Now let's add some bedding. Just kind of dig a bit of a hole here. There we go. That's a pretty good amount for right now. And that looks like that would, now we're up to 25.4. Let's get them some food. They're going to get a pumpkin, a little pumpkin. That puts us up to 28.3. I'm not going to leave that on top, though. I'm starting to have a bit of a fly problem down here, so I am going to put dry bedding on top of everything. Dang it, and I forgot the grit again. All right, let me go grab some get grit. Okay, so this has been frozen. So we'll just give them a bit of grit there. 
cover that up and I'm gonna give them more bedding on top to keep the flies out. That is a tip. If you are new to worm forming and you're finding that you're having problems with flies and other bugs, by putting dry bedding on the top, then the flies can't really get in there and um, get to the food or smell it and they tend to stay out. They won't want to lay their um, eggs or anything on top of dry bedding. So although this is a little damp right now, um, it is 45% humidity down here, so it's gonna dry out pretty fast. Final pounds on this are 31 even, and that is 14.05 kilograms. So if you're enjoying this experiment, why not give it a muddy thumbs up? And if you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you wanna know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.